Perkins engines normally come with a temperature switch, not a sending unit. So the temperature switch will let you know that the engine is overheated. Um, it will not tell you what the temperature of the engine is. So what we do is we've added a second um, sensor that uh, sends a signal. Uh, it's actually a variable resistance that the controller can decipher and show you the temperature um, of your uh, coolant or temperature of your engine uh, by measuring the coolant temperature. And the scale that is used, um, you know, what resistance equals what temperature is something we program into the controller using a computer. It's one of the only functions you cannot do from the front uh, panel or from, from using these keys. Um, but if you for some reason selected a different sensor and need to restore it to the original settings, it is still saved in your controller. And I'm going to show you how to get to that menu uh, and make sure you have the right sensor selected. Because you may have two sensors. One is uh, the switch that the engine has that tells you it's overheated and that's normally overheating is a connection that's close to ground. And then you have the sending unit which is uh, a temperature reading that your controller will show you. So to get to the menu here, we're going to make sure the controller is off, press enter, or the engine is off, press enter, brings up a menu. We're going to go to sensors, select enter. It's gonna ask us for a password. Now the default password is four number zeros. You can scroll up or scroll down. We'll cycle through the numbers zero through nine. So we're gonna find zero and press enter. I'm gonna do this four times. Press enter. It's now unlocked another screen. We'll go down to engine temperature and press enter. The signal source, this is where you select what type of um, sensor you're using to display the engine temperature. In this case, um, I'm sorry my mistake, the signal source is what it's connected to on the controller. It's important that port A, we've got it configured as port A, is the temperature sensor. O is the oil pressure, C is the fuel level, and port D is an extra input that we use for measuring the air temperature uh, in your um, canopy enclosure if you have one. So go back up to T here, port A. That's what you should have selected for the temperature sending unit that we have installed. If it shows anything else besides T, O, F, 1 and 4, then you'll have to make those corrections to uh, uh, make sure your sensors are connected to the right inputs on the controller. So uh, the thing about this uh, menu here, you can't get out unless you select something. And many people get into this menu and can't find a way out. So you have to remember that we went into the temperature sensor one. So we can go back to the temperature sensor for port A. We must select it in order to get out of this menu. Um, if you selected the wrong thing, it would mess everything up. It would shift things around and uh, you won't have the right sensors connected to the right inputs. Um, so again, temperature is in port A. Let's select it again. It's going to put a little check mark beside it if it wasn't selected. If it is selected, it'll just back you out of the menu here. Um, so we don't want to change the signal source. That was fine. It was um, port A. The sensor type. This is uh, where you select the type of sensor you have. There's, uh, by default, there's DAT, VDO, um, Engine is one we've we've programmed. It's a scale that uh, uh, corresponds to the different resistance values of the, your temperature sending unit and what temperature that means. And we've calibrated that ahead of time. Um, we program all the controllers so they're identical. There's no getting that wrong. Uh, they're all uh, all the same custom scale um, for the, our temperature sending units. The engine, however, does come with a temperature switch and. On the Perkins engines, when that switch closes, it is uh, uh, overheating. Your engine's overheating. So if you didn't have a temperature sending unit, you'd be selecting close equals failure. It's not going to show you a temperature, but it is going to tell you that the engine is overheated and the controller will shut off your, uh, your engine. In this case, again, the sensor type is either engine or sometimes we put the word WEMA, W-E-M-A, on there. That is the custom scale to show you the correct temperature. They all, uh, different different temperatures, excuse me, different um, scales are used for different types of sensors, but for ours, we call it engine or WEMA, W-E-M-A. The check mark shows what's currently selected. In this case, it's VDO. 
It shouldn't be VDO, it should be engine. So highlight engine, pressing enter will put a check mark beside it, confirming your selection. Pressing enter again will back us out of that screen and save our selection. The set points, that tells the controller when to pay attention to the sensor. Um, ignore it for the first 10 seconds after the engine is started. And you have a low warning level, which we don't care about in this case. There's a high warning level and a high failure level. The warning is just going to display a warning and it's going to log it in the um, event log in the controller. Uh, the failure level will actually cause the engine to shut off. So we have it set for 220 degrees Fahrenheit is the shutoff point um, where the controller will sense there's something wrong. It's 220 degrees Fahrenheit, your engine's overheating, shut it off. Now unfortunately these are all set in Fahrenheit, but your display will show you in Fahrenheit or Celsius. That you need to go into another menu to select what the display will show you. Um, Celsius or Fahrenheit and I'll go over that in a moment. So we've set our high warning level and our high failure level. If you want to change it to 225 for some reason you'd be select highlighting it, enter and allow you to toggle up and down. It should be at 200 and 220 for the fail. So let's say it was off, we corrected it, 220, press enter. Now we can back out of this menu, back out of the menu again, back and back the controller will flash and confirm that the changes have been accepted now depending how you want your temperature units to be displayed you can enter the menu again switch to where am i here i think i went to operator setup press enter the units Temperature units, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Currently, there's a check mark beside Celsius. It's going to display the temperature in Celsius degrees. You can select Fahrenheit or you can select Celsius again. In order to get out of this menu, there is no back option. You have to select something. So, after you've selected it, selecting it a second time will back you, will accept it and back you out of the menu. Now you can go back. Again, if you wanted to change the pressure units, you can. I'll keep it at PSI, check mark, enter, backs out. Back out again, back out again, back, and that's all there is to it. And if we were connected to a generator right now, and I have no sensor connected, but I'll show you by pressing auto here, I can step through the different displays. Enter will lock the screen. And here's our air temperature in Celsius. If I selected Fahrenheit in the previous menu, it would show us the uh, temperature in Fahrenheit. That's all there is to it.